it was a foggy night and a red letter day in Dog City. The town's annual shipment of flea powder was on a freighter headed into port. I was hired to make sure it got there safely. Apparently, someone had other plans. Now, here it is. Captain Bugsy Vile speaking. All hands on deck! <laughs> We're taking the powder with the powder! <laughs> it's so criminally insane! <laughs> Get the salt, you sea dogs! <laughs> hey, sailor. It's time for a date with Ace Hot. Sorry, we're playing hard to get. Fire! Ditto. Mad Dog, fetch the Freelance Flatfoot! Dogs overboard! It's a good thing you taught Mad Dog how to do the dog battle. Uh, I thought you taught him. Huh? What does it mean, Frisky? Mad Dog is <laughs> sleeping with the dog fishes. Oh, good thing I bought his jammies. I'd made some splashy exits in my day, but this time, I'd gone overboard. I'm not one for trading fish stories, but you should have seen the one that got away. I might have missed the boat, but at least I lost Mad Dog. <laughs> Looks like I spoke too soon. Don't worry, Ace. I'll have you up for air in two shakes of a hound's tail. <laughs> Guess who, Mr. Shag? Make that three shakes? <laughs> Hi, Artie. Listen, I'm really kind of busy here, so... I'll gonna... say, Ace is sure in over his head this time. How long can he hold his breath like that? Not long. Ooh. That's why I can't be interrupted right now. Oh, Elliot? Artie? Guess who? Colonel Claghound, I'd like you to meet my neighbor, Elliot Shag, and my son, Artie. How y'all doing? Please, I say, pleased to meet you. Uh, likewise, but the I'm kind of... The Colonel is hiring my company to tear down 15 factories. Might be hiring, if the conditions are to my liking, that is. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Wow, what a cool hat! Well, son, you got a keen, I say keen eye for historical headgear, son. Yes, this here hat means a lot to me, and I'll tell you why. Can you tell him later? I, I, I'm kind of in the middle. It was given to me by my great-granddaddy, yep, who wore it at the Battle of Bulldog Run. Wow, a real Civil War bonnet. Where's a mirror? Let me see, let me see. Artie, Artie. You got a mirror at home, Artie. Oh, I'd much rather back, you took back, the hat back, 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 back,
army. If we could just get him to talk, he could tell us everything. Forget it, sweet fleas. They don't call him Mad Dog because of his temper. He's not sloopy, a brain dead bow wow, and totally useless. Down, boy, or I'll throw the book at you. Allow me. Among all canine constructions, the only ones that avoid the dissolving hands of time are castles in the air. Better lock him up. Oh, hurry. Officer, take our guests to his quarters. Well, so long, Rosie. I'll leave Canis Horribilis with you. Here's hoping my ship will come in before yours. Looks like Mad Dog is really stuck on you, Ace. It's just a phase. It's gotta be. Well, I can't have him destroying Joe Public's property anymore. So I'm officially remanding him to your custody. You can't do that. It's dirty fool. You're just trying to saddle me with this brainless bag of bones. I'm not trying it, Ace. I'm doing it. Good luck. As if I didn't have enough problems. Finding the flea powder was tough enough. Now I was stuck with Attila the Hound. <laughs> oh, it's working like a charm, boss. Every doggy is scratching like crazy. Every doggy, excluding us. <laughs> <laughs> some for Frisky, some for Bruiser, and some for... Ah, uh, where might I engage to inquire is Mad Dog? Mad Dog? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been meaning to tell you about that uh, dog, but uh, uh, he's, uh, he's... He's right here. Phew. Right on the front page. <laughs> Mad Dog held in police custody. And look, he's found himself a new friend. And to whom might I attribute this blunderous oversight? Yeah. Him. Mad dogs, delinquent dogs! You know how loose mad dog's lips are. One knock on the noggin and he might say anything. Now make like retrievers and fetch mad dog! Uh, how's it coming, Artie? It's coming out. Huh? It's coming out! It's not coming out. Uh, listen, Artie, maybe you should just, uh, tell them what happened. Oh, I don't think so, Mr. Shag. Huh? Mom takes her work pretty seriously. If she loses this job because of me, oh, I gotta go. Poor Artie. Wish I could do more to help the little guy. You wanna help somebody? Get this mutt off my back. Relax, Ace. We'll have you up and running in no time. Thanks to Mad Dog, I was getting nowhere fast. <clears throat> Every time I dig up a lead, Mad Dog would bury it. It got so I couldn't have a moment to myself. Everywhere I turned, it was Mad Dog, Mad Dog, Mad Dog. He was really cramping my style, so I decided to put a crimp in his. Stay, stay. That's right, stay. Phew. Hiya, Mad Dog. Hey, Mad Dog, get the shoe, get the shoe. Taxi! Find me now, I'm free! Huh? Impossible! You got him! Oh! <laughs> but be careful, you heard the boss. Make sure you don't. The dog who goes up in a balloon does not feel as if he were ascending. He only sees the world sinking deeper below him. Oh, he's spilling the beans. That definitely sounded like beans spilling. Sorry. Ah! Lassie, what's wrong, girl? Is Timmy in danger? Let's get out of here. Heal, hairballs. Oh, you're in for a riveting experience. Good doggies. Get off of me, mad dog. I'm making a bust. 
Hi ho, Brucia! Run away! They say that every dog has his day. Huh? But this sure ain't one. The flea powder disappearance had festered into a rash of protests. Angry citizens were itching for results. Me, I just wanted relief from a different kind of doghouse infestation. Mad Dog had brought new meaning to the term house broke. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vales and hills. Ah, Longfellow. You're a regular Henry Wadsworth, kid. Now, if you'd only cough up something useful. Ugh. Hello. I tried not to think too hard about where it had been and focused on where it could take me. That's it, boy. Take me to Frisky and the flea powder. Huh? Whoa! <laughs> no mad dog! <laughs> sense of smell was for the birds. I had you pegged from the beginning. You're a dope, a screw-up. I've sniffed fire plugs with better sense than you. I've seen some crossbred head cases, but this mud is dumber than them all. I absolutely refuse to work with them, and that's final. Gee, H, you're being pretty hard on him. Give him another chance. Forget it. Mad Dog is without a doubt the most useless, foul smelling, flea brained, air headed, garbage eaten, quote to Ooh, dog. Boy, he's really steamed. Well, I better move on so he can cool off. Eight million bones cash? That's a lot of scratch. Yes, but the citizens need relief, and those are Bugsy's demands. Eight million bones, hand delivered by Mad Dog. Get me Ace Horse. Mindless, inept, stupid. Ace Hot Bakken, what is it? I need Mad Dog to do the deal with Bugsy. No problem, sweet fleas. He's right here. Uh, can I get back to you on that? Hold it! Oh, this is great, Elliot. How am I going to get the flea powder back with no witnesses, no clues, and no Mad Dog? Now take it easy, Ace. I've got a plan, but you might not like it. I'm itching to find that flea powder, kid. I'd try anything right about now. Okay, here it goes. What am I doing dressed like this? Shh! Rosie could be listening. Rosie? Yes, Ace. This is Rosie. Rover. Oh, I get it. I'm making the switch, right? That's the plan, genius. And remember, we're doing this one by the book. Spam me the catchphrase, dog. Some doggies coming. Roll them. Hey, Mad Dog! Phew. Oh, we missed you, little fella. Please, don't never run away again. This is Rocky. We have it on good authority that Ace Hart will disguise himself as Mad Dog in the hopes of duping Bugsy Vile's hapless stooges into tipping the location of the pilfered flea powder. Say, something stinks like yesterday's paper. Bow wow, bow wow. Wasn't it Custer who said, Help! Bye bye, private eyes. It's nothing personal, Hot. Try not to feel too crushed. <laughs> I was about to have my pants pressed for free, but I was wearing it. I didn't stand a dog's chance. All thanks to that mangy mutt mad dog. Castles in the air, the dog who goes up in a balloon. I wandered lonely as a cloud. Air, balloon, cloud. Oh, oh. That's it. My case isn't up in the air. The flea powder is. I guess there was a method to Mad Dog's madness. If only you were here now. That mutt could chew through anything. Here, Mad Dog. Hey, boy. I guess I can't blame him. Not after the way I feel. Mad Dog! No, Mad Dog! Down, boy! 
Look out! Hmm? Huh? Wise hound once noted, with thee and me being even, Stephen, you go your way, and me, I'm leaving. Sorry to do this to you, pal. Now, Rosie! I knew Rosie would take good care of Mad Dog and me. I had a plane to catch. Just as I thought. One free-floating flea powder filled freighter dead ahead. <gasps> Enemy aircraft approaching off the starboard bow wow! As Mad Dog would say, make with the barking of havoc and let slip the dogs of war. Let's fly, boy! <laughs> Elliot, just when it was getting good. Sorry, Ace. You know how I feel about gratuitous violence. That's better. That's what you think. Come on, Elliot. Without firepower, I'm just a flying target. That's exactly what I had in mind. Get my point? 10-4, kid. I read you loud and clear. There he is! Cut him down! Watch where you're shooting! You shall hit thee! Uh -oh. Think you made a boo -boo. We're going down! A bag of chips! Swim in this puppy's voice! My flea powder! Hudson's precious cargo was his, but at least Dog City's fleas had taken a powder. <laughs> So Mad Dog came through after all. He sure did. Let this be a lesson you, Rosie. You can't judge a book by its cover. Mad Dog? Hey! Hey! I hate to admit it, but I'm gonna miss that crazy mutt. But just a little. I'm back. It's time to let Elliot get back to work. Yeah, we got contracts to sign. <laughs> Artie, what's wrong? Uh, the, Artie has something to tell you. Oh, go ahead, Artie. Go ahead. Mom? Yeah? C Colonel Sack, I, uh, um, I... Say something, boy. I got a plane to catch. Go ahead, Artie. I spilled paint on your hat. I tried to clean it, but I didn't do a very good job. Sorry. Great horn dog is my hat! It's ruined! This was a piece of history, son! Have you no sense, boy? Were you raised in a kennel, son? Now, wait a minute, Colonel. I want something done about this boy! Artie, huh? why didn't you come to me in the first place? Oh, why don't you be angry? I know how important your work is to you. Oh, my work is important to me, and I probably would have gotten a little mad, but nothing is as important to me as you. Really? Really. I've half a mind to take my whopping big demolition contract someplace less destructive. How dare you let this delinquent get away with ruining my hat? Now listen, and listen good, Tex. You have no right to talk to my son that way. And as far as your whopping big demolition contract is concerned, you can just... <laughs> Come on, kiddo. Let's go home. <sighs> okay, Mom. Later, animator. What a gal. Who'd have thunk it? Under that all-business exterior beats a heart of gold. Yeah, I guess appearances can be deceiving. Just like with Mad Dog. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's just a big old puppy dog. If I had it to do all over again, I'd probably enjoy it. Really? Then you'll love this next case. It's called, <laughs> I Was a Fugitive from a Leash Gang. All right, Elliot, quit yanking my chain. Elliot? Elliot? I hate these endings. 